Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem 2 from IMO 2022. The problem is asking us to find all functions that satisfy certain functional inequality. It says, for every positive real number x, there is exactly one positive real number y such that x f of y plus y f of x is less than or equal to 2. As usual, instead of presenting you the solution, I will go over my thought process, how I thought about this problem and how I came up with a solution. The very first thing that I would do is I would try to find all functions that I can think of that satisfy this property. The first thing was, let's think about f as a constant function. Constant functions clearly do not satisfy this because the left hand side is going to grow pretty rapidly as x gets larger. What about linear functions or, po or any polynomial? Any polynomial, if you plug it in, the left hand side of the equality uh, grows quite fast, so the inequality is going to fail at some point. Instead, we would have to look at something maybe like rational functions. And then immediately it became clear to me that if I take f of x, substitute that by 1 over x, I would get x over y plus y over x less than or equal to 2. But by AMGM, I know x over y plus y over x is greater than or equal to 2, which means x over y plus y over x must be 2. And this is the equality case for AMGM, which means x over y and y over x are the same, which means x and y are the same. This is nice because we also use the fact that x and y are positive. So it's likely the case that 1 over x is in fact the only function satisfying this property. But how do we prove that if it were to be true? What I did next was to look at the uh, inequality that we had, x f of y plus y f of x less than or equal to 2. I'm going to call x and y twins of each other. So note that if x f of y plus y f of x is less than or equal to 2, then y f of x plus x f of y is also less than or equal to 2. So that means x and y are twins of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call x is a twin of y and y is a twin of x. The first step is I would like to show that x can be only twin of itself. So the first thing was I thought, can I show that everything must be a twin of itself? Let's assume that's not the case. So assume x and y are in fact different. And let's see what happens. If that's the case, it means x is not a twin of itself. So it means if you plug in x and y to be the same, this quantity cannot be less than or equal to 2, which means it must be more than 2. And that tells us that f of x must be more than 1 over x. Similarly, since y cannot be a twin of itself because twins are unique, so every element has only one twin, I could say that y f of y plus y f of y is greater than 2, which means f of y is greater than 1, 1 over y. So if that is the case, then I can take these and plug it back into the inequality that we had. We had 2 is greater than or equal to x f of y plus y f of x. And f of y is more than y, so this would be more than x over y. And f of x is more than 1 over x, so that would be more than that. And this is greater than or equal to 2 by amgm. But that's a contradiction. So this is a contradiction. Okay, so I did make some progress here. I haven't, I'm, I haven't solved the problem yet, but I have made some seemingly at least significant progress. So this means um, ev every x in R plus is the twin of itself. So what does that mean? It means x f of x plus x f of x is less than or equal to 2, which means f of x is always less than or equal to 1 over x. We haven't shown that it is equal to 1 over x though. Let's see what happens if I write down the inequality for using the uniqueness. So this means by uniqueness, x f of y plus y f of x is greater than 2 for all y not equal to x. 
So this tells us I'm going to take all the y's to the right side and see what we get. We get f of x is greater than 2 minus xf of y over y. So I get this. Now I know that f of y is less than or equal to 1 over y, which means this is greater than or equal to 2 minus x over y because f of y is less than or equal to 1 over y, which means negative f of y is greater than or equal to negative 1 over y divided by y. If I could replace y by x, then I would get f of x is greater than or equal to 1 over x. However, I cannot. This is for all y not equal to x. But it doesn't really matter. What I can do is I can allow y to approach x. So allow y to approach x. Then what we get is f of x is greater than or equal to 2 minus x over this approach is 1 and the bottom approach is x. So that tells us f of x is at least 1 over x. Now combine this with what we had before, f of x was less than or equal to x, 1 over x. Thus, f of x equals 1 over x is the only such function. So that completes the solution to this problem. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel where you can find many videos like this and my focus is on understanding how you obtain solutions rather than just providing you the solution. I talk a lot about the insights and how I think about a problem and nearly all of the problems that I present to you are solutions of my own and I will see you in the next video.